Okay, crash course on composition of trig. If you hear any weird noises, by the way, I'm doing this on campus, so someone might walk in or a bell might ring. We'll see what happens. So number one, arc sine of negative one half. Arc sine implies that I was gonna be shading. Arc sine is not allowed to be on this side of our unit circle. So since the answer to sine, which is the y value, is negative one half, that's a pretty small y value, so it's pretty close to the x-axis. This point on the unit circle right here, which you might call 11 pi over 6. But remember, 11 pi over 6 implies that you're going all the way around, and you can't do that. So you need to go the short way, which is negative pi over 6. Number two, take a look at number two. You need to pause this video and try the problems on your own before I answer them myself. So if you don't hit pause, the video is just gonna keep going. So arc cotangent, that's supposed to be a negative root three if you can't quite tell. I want it to say negative root three. So here's the thing, it's arc cotangent. You need to look carefully at the problem. I wanna change it to arc tangent since I'm changing it to the reciprocal trig, I need to write it as the reciprocal of negative root 3, which is negative root 3 over 3. Then you can use your axes. Arc tangent is not allowed to be on the left side of the unit circle. Also, tangent has our shortcut. Two threes make six, so it's something over six. Since it's negative, tangent is negative in this quadrant that is not drawn to scale. So I know it needs to be down there. So negative pi over six is the only one that lands in that quadrant without going through the black shaded area. Two new problems. Pause the video if you don't wanna see the answer. Pause it and try it on your own before you watch the entire video. Arc cosine. Cosine is not allowed to be in the bottom of the unit circle. Cosine is the x value, and x value of negative root 3 over 2 is pretty long. So it's this spot on the unit circle, which is known as 5 pi over 6. There's no problem with that. I don't go through the shaded area to get there. So 5 pi over 6 is the answer. Again, pause the video before I answer the next question. Arc cosecant. I don't like cosecant. So arc reciprocal of cosecant is sine. Reciprocal of 2 root 3 over 3 is root 3 over 2. Practice your reciprocals if you don't see that. Arc sine is not allowed to be on the left side of the unit circle. A sine value of root 3 over 2 is a pretty big y value. This point on the unit circle, that point, sorry, is pi over 3. The answer is pi over three. Notice if the question starts with arc, your answer is gonna be a radian. If the question starts with arc, your answer is gonna be a radian. At least guess and give me a radian answer. Next page. Composition of trig now, so getting more complicated. Two steps. Take the first part, which is inside the parentheses, and do that step first. Pause the video and see if you can do that step. We've been practicing this now. Arc tan can't be on the left. A tangent of negative is definitely in this quadrant, not drawn to scale. Also, I didn't really hit zero, but you get the idea. Because there's only one three, I know it's the thing that just